This is a video about the travelling salesman problem. My name is Alan Doran. You don't need to have seen any other videos before watching this one. The presentation stands alone. Travelling salesman problem is sometimes abbreviated TSP is given n cities and their intermediate distances find the shortest route traversing each city exactly once. I'll now explain in a little bit more detail what this means. Here we've got a map of Australia with all of the state's capital cities marked on it and approximations for routes between each of the cities. Marked on the routes are the distances between the cities that you would need to travel if you took that route. You can see there's a little picture of salesman. He needs to visit all of these cities. He only wants to visit them once and he wants to minimise the amount of time he spends on the road. Now we don't really care too much about the fact that these are Australian cities or any other cities. The travelling salesman problem can be thought of in a more abstract sense. So here I've just thrown out Australia, sorry, and I've left the capital cities marked with stars and the distances between them are still indicated on what are now mostly straight routes just laid out for clarity. So the aim then is to travel between the cities, just touching on each one once and minimising the distance travelled. For instance, the distance from Darwin to Sydney varies depending on the route that we take. We could start in Darwin, move down to Adelaide, travelling 3,026 kilometres, across to Melbourne, another 729k, and then around to Sydney via the coastal route, 879 kilometres for a total of 4,634 kilometres. An alternative route from Darwin to Sydney is obviously from Darwin to Brisbane to Sydney and that may be slightly shorter. Of course you could also go Darwin, Perth, Adelaide, Melbourne, Sydney and that would be a lot longer. So in the case of the capital cities in Australia we've got seven cities. The travelling salesman problem applies to any number of cities. Here's an example tour that takes in all of the cities exactly once as required for the travelling salesman problem solution. We start in Darwin, we go to Perth, Adelaide, Melbourne, then Canberra, Sydney and Brisbane. Now this may or may not be the shortest route, it might have been quicker to go Darwin, Brisbane, Sydney, Canberra, Melbourne, Adelaide, Perth or some other combination. That's the point of the travelling salesman problem. We're trying to find which of the routes that takes in all of the cities once has the shortest total distance. Now we can represent the distances between the cities in a grid like this. So across the top we can see A for Adelaide, B for Brisbane, C for Canberra and so on. And we've got the same vertically down the array. So if we were to travel say from Adelaide to Darwin, then we just read from Adelaide to Darwin on the table and we see that the result where the two row, well where the row and the column meet is 3026 kilometres. Of course instead we could have gone from the column indicating Adelaide to the row indicating Darwin and we would still find 3026 as the number of kilometres because Travelling in either direction makes no difference when you're on the road. So basically this matrix here is symmetrical about the diagonal. We'll find the same values on the top right hand side as we'll find on the bottom left hand side. On top of that, right through the middle, of course, to travel from Adelaide to Adelaide by road doesn't require any distance. So there's a zero right down the diagonal. What that means is that this whole half of the matrix can be thrown out and the numbers we really care about are just those either in the top right half or the bottom left. Here I've eliminated the bottom left. Where there's nothing in one of the cells there is no road so we can't get from Adelaide to Sydney directly we have to go via another city. So basically those empty white cells are infinite distance between cities. So in summary then, the travelling salesman problem is given n cities, some number, and the distances between them find the shortest route traversing each city exactly once. Thanks for watching.